At quarter to seven, we sat down to dine. The porter was having the fillet it was fine. The mere fact that you thought it quarter to nine, which was twenty past ten, is an excellent sign and a clear corroboration that whenever you combine a little sparkling conversation with an educated wine, you produce a combination you can rightfully define as frightfully, delightfully divine. Still, banana flambe and Havana cigar and Jamaica with lime, as sublime as they are, seem to have the effect on this kind of song of making the verse just a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> and so, without further ado, let us do what a gent of good breeding is expected to do, postprandially speaking. If all are agreed, let us hasten to heat and we are called to proceed. Now indeed, shall we now? Shall we now? Now indeed, <laughs> shall we join the ladies? Yes, do, let's join the ladies and make one great big lady. Taken separately, the girls can be confusing. But as a whole, they might, I think, be quite amusing. I'd rather have one enormous lady with two tremendous eyes than twenty with forty of ordinary size. I hope we join those darling daughters. I mean, join them to each other and make one great huge mother. You complain that if she's big, she'll be unkingly. Well, I maintain that you're a prig who spouts inanely. <laughs> My cousin Clarissa weighed 500 pounds, wasn't fat at all. In fact, she was quite slender, so she was tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fine finale on such a summer's day, for in this damp and sultry weather, the ladies somehow tend to stick together <laughs> anyway. So shall we join the ladies, I mean really join the ladies and make one great big lady. What do you say? 